Weaponry? The Venom packs a mean punch. It often employs side-mounted M240 D7.62 mm machine guns or GAU 17A miniguns <laughs> capable of saturating the battlefield with suppressive fire. It can also carry Hydra rocket pods and even AGM-114 Hellfire missiles for precision strikes. This loadout flexibility means the UH-1Y can adapt mission to mission without skipping a beat. With a maximum gross weight near 18,500 pounds, the Venom can transport up to eight fully equipped Marines plus its crew or serve as a flying command post brimming with advanced communications gear. Need to extract a recon squad under fire? Need to set up a mobile forward air controller platform? The UH-1Y has you covered. In the last few years, the UH-1Y Venom saw a series of upgrades aimed at enhanced data link capabilities, so it can share real-time targeting and reconnaissance info with other aircraft or troops on the ground. Sensor packages have also improved, allowing the Venom to detect and engage targets in reduced visibility or harsh weather. One fascinating development is the early experimentation with unmanned aerial system UAS integration. The Venom's open architecture mission computer allows for potential interoperability with drones, fueling the Marine Corps' push toward more networked warfare. Imagine a Venom pilot calling in a drone swarm for instant reconnaissance, feeding live data back to the helicopter's cockpit displays. But while the Venom excels at multi-role missions, its stablemate, the AH-1Z Viper, exists purely to dominate any fight it enters and in a moment, we'll reveal how the Viper's sensor suite can track multiple targets in near darkness, something that's had adversaries on high alert. Where the Huey conjures images of troop lifts and rescue ops, the Cobra line evokes fearsome attack runs and blazing 20mm cannon fire. 